Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for November 13th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here that has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's get started with four NBA games for this weekend. And there's some pretty good matchups in store. First one is Oklahoma City and the New York Knicks. You notice both teams are ice cold down at the moment. The Thunder have lost their last four, while the Knicks are coming off of a loss, and they are 2-4 and four over their last six games. If you look at the over-under, notice that the Knicks have been involved in games under the line in four out of their last five and four out of their last six overall, while the Thunder have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, but two out of their last three have been under the line. The score prediction has New York 120, Oklahoma City 109, so a pretty hefty margin of victory, but only 44% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, Oklahoma City was at plus 23, and they have dipped over the course of the week down to plus 8, while the Knicks have been up and down, and they are now up to plus 15, a rise of 5 points over the last couple of days. If we take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup for last season, you can see Oklahoma City won both games between the two teams. Uh, one by 15 at home, and the other one by four on the road. The stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, the Knicks at plus five, and Oklahoma City at plus three. In the end, I like the Thunder to win this one on the road. I say it's going to be about a five to ten point victory, and I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So Oklahoma City and over the line. Memphis and Washington. Next game we want to look at as we scroll down through a pretty hefty schedule is Utah Jazz and Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers have struggled without James Harden, and Joel Embiid has missed several games due to, due to an illness, but he is back. The Sixers look to get back on track. They are averaged down at the moment. They have lost three out of their last four, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. While the Jazz are burning hot, they have won their last four. If we take a look at the over-under, you can see that Utah has been over in their last two, three out of their last six, while the Sixers have been involving games under the line in their last three games. The score prediction has Utah 120, Philadelphia 110, with about 65% level of confidence in the prediction. Um, and that is up, actually. That 10-point margin of victory is up, uh, it was at seven points a little bit earlier. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise. Utah's near the top of the week at plus 29. Philadelphia was as high as plus 20. They have dipped considerably and they came back up slightly, and they are at plus 14. If you take a look at the stability factor, here's a big key here as far as I'm concerned in the game. Now, Philadelphia hasn't been very consistent either. They're minus one, but Utah is at minus five, right? So that means they're very consistent with regard to their favored underdog status. I think Utah will be a road fair. The line is not out there yet. I believe Utah will be a road fair, but they have been unstable. They have been inconsistent. I'm going to go with that inconsistency and the fact that Philadelphia needs to get back on track. I take Philadelphia at home, but I would pass on the over-under. Denver and Chicago. Golden State at Sacramento. In this game here, the Warriors are, have been struggling. There's no question about it. They are dead up. They're coming off of a win by three over the Kings. So it's a it's a repeat of the game that these play, but that was at home. But they had lost their previous five. The Kings are average up. They are four and two over their last six. The score predictor has Sacramento by a 122-114 margin with 67% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the over/under, Golden State over in four out of their last six. Uh, Sacramento has been over in uh, let's see three out of their last six. The power rankings indicator. Shows here Golden State on a completely downward path, downward spiral at plus one. Sacramento not much better at plus six. Head to head, if you just go by this, you will think all Golden State. Golden State won every meeting last season. All six of them don't mind that. I like the Kings at home. They're going to take the Warriors in this one and end their streak. So go with Sacramento and under the line. The last game we want to look at is Brooklyn and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Nets are average up. They are 4-2 over their last six. But there's been a lot of controversy with them with the Kyrie Irving situation. And now they have a new head coach. So let's see how stable they can be after that move. Um, but they are the favorites at 1.56 to 2.21. 
partially because the Lakers have been struggling badly. They have lost their last four, and they're ice cold down. The score prediction uh, is going along a similar line. Brooklyn in a blowout, 125-102, with 49% level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Brooklyn was at plus 9. They have dipped some. They're at plus 9. And the Lakers are at plus 4. Let's take a look at the stability factor, if this means anything here. Both teams have been consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, both at plus 4. Never mind that. I like the Nets on the road in a game going under the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the four games for NBA for November 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.